Metaverse, the ultimate game changer. Now, even a company like Boeing is thinking of putting applications in it. And Boeing's Metaverse aspirations, without a question, have the potential to revolutionize the game. Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. For more videos like this, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. So let's get started. Boeing is trying to include Metaverse characteristics into its design and production processes, which might transform the industry. Boeing has revealed that it would create a virtual reality airplane. According to Reuters, Boeing has taken a significant step forward in Web 3.0 with its digital operations and study of air services. The Metaverse is a network of three-dimensional virtual worlds that focuses mostly on social interactions. The word is frequently used in futurism and science fiction to represent a potential iteration of the internet as a single, worldwide virtual environment aided by the usage of virtual and augmented reality VR, AR headgear. Critics claim that Boeing has made such grandiose promises about a digital revolution before, with uneven outcomes. However, as the corporation faces several challenges, insiders believe the overriding aims of increasing quality and safety have taken on increased urgency and relevance. The plane maker is trying to restore its engineering dominance in 2022, while simultaneously laying the basis for a future aircraft program over the next decade. Following the 737 MAX catastrophe, a $15 billion risk, it also expects to avoid future manufacturing problems, including the structural flaws that have affected its 787 Dreamliner in recent months. Boeing claims that in only two years, it will implement significant changes, including mechanics wearing $3,500 Microsoft HoloLens headgear, more dependence on automation, and the creation of a single, integrated digital ecosystem of information. Over the next decade, the corporation plans to invest $15 billion in its ambitious digital transformation. If all goes according to plan, metaverse elements might be implemented into its operations within two years. Immersive 3D engineering drawings will be paired with robots that communicate to each other in a future Boeing plant, while mechanics from around the world will be linked via Microsoft's HoloLens. The strategy intends to bring together disparate design, production, and airline services divisions into a unified digital ecosystem. This Boeing plan aims to unite design, production, and airline services operations under a single digital manufacturing system, which company says it will put in place in the next two years. Boeing has repeatedly expressed its goal of a digital revolution, but critics say the company's efforts to word the goal have had mixed results. Industry observers say the goals of improving quality and safety have grown more important as the company faces several threats. But no matter what, it's happening now. Because at the end of the day, we will receive faster, higher quality, better communication, and better reactivity when issues arise," said Boeing chief engineer Greg Hislop. And also remarked that when the supplier basis quality improves, the airplane assembly goes more smoothly, and we reduce rework, the financial performance improves. Boeing anticipates that an entirely new airline might be introduced in four to five years, using a new, digitally integrated system. Hislop has made it plain that the digital transformation is not meant to be a stopgap measure to supplement the company's existing infrastructure. Boeing, on the other hand, wants a total revamp to combining design, production, and service operations into a single system. It's about strengthening engineering, according to Hislop. They're talking about fundamentally altering the way we function as a firm. Future clashes between the two might be fought in the metaverse, with Airbus also making advances in the digital sphere. After years of strong market rivalry, the need to deliver on rising order books has opened up a new front in Boeing's struggle with Europe's Airbus, this time on the manufacturing floor. Guillaume Faure, the CEO of Airbus and a former director of automotive research, has pledged to enhance the company's industrial system by creating new production procedures and exploiting the potential of data. The approach by Boeing has thus far been marked by incremental improvements within particular aircraft programs or tooling, rather than systemic overhaul that Hislop is currently advocating. Both airline titans' simultaneous endeavor is symptomatic of a worldwide digital transformation, as manufacturers like Ford Motor Co. and social media businesses like Facebook parent Meta Platforms Inc. move work and play into an immersive virtual environment known as the Metaverse. The desire of the airline makers to enter the so-called Metaverse, a shared digital realm that uses virtual reality technology, is not unique. Boeing wants a link to a three-dimensional digital model of its future airliner included in the development process. It also wants simulations to be possible with the manufacturing system. This might be Boeing's factory of the future, with immersive 3D engineering drawings, robots, and mechanics all around the world linked by HoloLens glasses. Boeing will be able to run simulations using three-dimensional virtual reproductions of its designs, nicknamed Digital Twins, 
From the start of the project, each design will be attached to a digital thread that contains every piece of information, including parts, certifications, and special airline needs. Reforming obsolete paper-based methods might result in significant change. More than 70% of Boeing's quality issues, according to Hislop, may be traced back to a design defect. Such capabilities, according to Boeing, will be critical in getting a new airline from concept to market in as little as four or five years. Boeing has discovered that digital technology alone is not a solution. Industry analysts say it has to be complemented with organizational and cultural changes across the board. Engineer Linda Hapgood has been tasked with leading the digital transition, which will be supported by a team of over 100 engineers. Hapgood is most known for converting black and white paper schematics of the 767 tanker's wire bundles into 3D pictures, then arming technicians with tablets and HoloLens augmented reality headsets. According to one insider, quality has increased by 90%. Engineers working on a digital twin for the now-defunct NMA mid-market aircraft were hired by Hapgood in her new post. She has also drawn inspiration from the MQ-25 aerial refueling drone and the T-7A Red Hawk. Following a model-based design, Boeing constructed the first T-7A planes in simulation. The T-7A was on the market in just 36 months. Despite this, the program faces component shortages, design delays, and additional testing needs. Boeing has a head start on the competition with their 777X wing production in Washington, which was the first to integrate digital layout and robot optimization. However, the overall initiative is years behind schedule and is beset by certification issues. This is going to take a long time, Hislop has remarked, and also stated that each of these initiatives addressed a different aspect of the problem, but now they want to do it from beginning to end. However, putting the idea into action will be tough. Numerous obstacles remain in the way of this progressive shift. Some argue that Boeing does not invest enough in research and development. Others argue that even if this strategy is worthwhile, it will not fix all of the company's issues. It is a means of making things simpler, but some argue that it will not solve all the company's problems. Technical issues have been identified on two of Boeing's military training aircraft, according to automotive specialists. Both were created with the use of modern technology. Boeing has been excessively focused on shareholder returns, according to Teal Group researcher Richard Abulafia. As a result, he claims the company's engineering skills have suffered. He went on to say that the company's research budget is still being reduced. Spirit Aerosystems, a manufacturer of airplane parts, has previously invested in digital technology. Hundreds of smaller suppliers throughout the world, on the other hand, lack the financial resources or qualified workforce to make significant digital modifications to their production systems. The MAX and coronavirus crises, which followed a decade of pricing pressure from Boeing or Airbus, have crippled many. According to one supply chain executive, they're going to tell us not just what hardware we can buy, but also all this sophisticated digital stuff that sits on top of it. Earlier in 2021, the company announced a $29.22 million five-year research program with Australia's National Science Agency the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization to enhance industrial safety and productivity using digital twin and model-based engineering, space, aviation sustainability, and technology. Boeing requires a major victory to get back on track. It's unclear whether the company's metaverse plan will pay off, or whether it's just a ploy to earn some much-needed favorable press. It's a fascinating idea for Boeing, and it could be able to help the firm recover from recent setbacks. Regardless, the Metaverse aircraft development plan faces significant challenges, and only time will tell if it is a success or failure for Boeing. So what do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel.